don't know about you, but it seems like we've been hearing a lot more about different plane crashes and plane incidents recently, whether it's the doors flying off or having issues with runways or falling into water, uh, just random different issues that seem kind of horrifying. You know, like I've never been one of those people who's just really afraid of, of flying, but I'm getting there. And it's not supposed to go in that direction, it's supposed to get better with time. And it's like, yes, but the data is beginning to look kind of bad. So well, one of the issues here is that it seems somewhat intentional, or at least an expected consequence of some of the decisions that are being made. Because throughout this entire industry, there's been this massive motion to embrace what's frequently in recent years been known as DEI, or diversity, equity and inclusion hiring practices. And it's been really extreme in that industry, an industry where you would really kind of need well, you know, competence. Let's just go with competence. Like, merit really matters when you're looking at things like pilots, or even about the mechanics of the different parts of the plane and who puts them together. Uh, these things, I mean, quite literally, lives depend on this stuff being done right, and therefore you don't want to hire from the bottom of the class. Let's just put it like that. But according to United's latest corporate diversity report, of the 51 students that graduated from United's first class of pilots, nearly 80% were women or people of colour. I mean, the thing is, here, I don't think there's just a sudden interest in um, non-white people and women that is so much greater than men, because what's what you have to ask yourself is, what happened to the competent men? Or what happened to the white guys, specifically? Where did they go? It reminds me of, um, and this is dark, but you know over in Iceland where they're like, well, we eliminated Down syndrome completely. There's none in the country. And you're like, well, what happened? How did you get rid of it? And it's like, well, we just killed all of the unborn who had Down syndrome. It's like, uh, yeah, about that. That's, that's not really, that, that's not winning. Like, that, that's not the moral course, but okay. And so here you're like, well, what happened to the men? It's like, well, we excluded them by not hiring them. You know, yes, they were, they were every bit as meritorious. Um, and yet we just decided that we didn't want them because they were white or because they were male. Like, that, that's not okay or moral or decent, nor does it result in the safest of flying. But places like United are specifically recruiting from places that will give them the type of people that they want. Like, they recruit directly from places like Sisters of the Skies, which seeks out specifically non-white women. They call it, like, female people of colour or something like that. But yeah, it's non-white women is what they're specifically seeking, uh, targeting, like, in high school and sometimes younger, and then, you know, giving them scholarships and so on that aren't available to people of, of white persuasion or who are male and instead, you know, pushing them through. And also United is hiring from historically black schools. Uh, two of the schools that United has decided to team up with, Delaware State University and Elizabeth City State University, are in the bottom 2% of all undergraduate institutions in the United States. Like, th there's actually a consequence here. And this isn't to say that I don't think that a black person or a, a female is incapable of these these positions necessarily. I do, however, think that there's a problem when they're specifically seeking out people with these characteristics, ignoring merit entirely. Because if you have to seek them out by a characteristic, by them being one, by them being non-white, then you're specifically saying that you don't think they're capable of, you know, reaching to the same height uh, or competing in the same level playing field as as a man or as a white person. It's it's disturbing in multiple in multiple ways. And just days before the door blew out on the plane, Spirit Aerosystems executives were posting eagerly about their next diversity event. Well, Spirit Aerosystems manufactured the door. They have the diversity, equity, and inclusion hiring there within. Uh, do we know which particular employees were responsible for the error? Of course not, and we never will. But right now, what we're, what we're moving toward is an area throughout the entire airline industry of intentional incompetence 
in favor of diversity. Like, diversity in race is not a, a, a natural strength. I'm sorry, it's just not. It's not a strength. And what we want is competency. What we want is people who are capable of doing the, the job the best way and that care. Like, that, that's, that's what we want. This shouldn't be complicated. This didn't. This wasn't at one point complicated, and instead we're just told to pay no, pay no attention, right, to the planes that are running off the runway or you know plummeting into the ocean. None of that, because none of that matters. You're supposed to look the way, and it's also in air traffic control now that we also have some of these same hiring practices, and it's spreading. So right now, you know, most of the pilots will still be competent, and most of the manufacturing will still be done well, but over time, as you know a decade or two from now is going to be very different. And then what you'll have is the corresponding push towards AI control planes, because would you really want one of those pilots manning it? Mm. You start to start to reconsider everything. And, and you know, it's, it's incredibly dehumanizing. It causes people not to even aim to be to be what they ought to be or to to aspire properly because instead they can just be replaced by somebody who has the right characteristic and it causes those with the right characteristics you know the the woman or the black person to to not need to try as hard and then people don't because that's that's what humans do right they don't actually we don't uh strive for that which we don't have to strive for it's just kind of, it's kind of a vice but it's the way that we are so just consider it a warning as you plot your flying in the future and maybe drive if you <laughs> maybe consider driving if it's within range. Uh, I do think this is a serious issue that I think is being overlooked by too many.